So with all that said, consistency is king. Now let's jump over to the next topic. This is manifestation. I'm a huge fan of manifestation, goals, dreams. I, I love it all. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a story that I, that I would, I'm going to give you guys a personal story that I haven't shared with very many people, but I, I'm all about trying to provide as much value to you guys because the story that I'm going to share provided a lot of value to me. So I loved playing football. Football was a huge part of my life until about, until about 2018. Um, and then I decided to take more of the entrepreneurial route. So after uh, my senior year of football, I was my whole goal was I wanted to win state, the state championship as the starting quarterback. That's all I wanted, all going up through high school. That's all I cared about. So my senior year, finally, I was a starting quarterback. We had a, a great chance of winning the state championship. We started the first third of the season. We did great. We won all of our games. I was performing pretty well, in my opinion, and we were undefeated. Then I hit a slump through the middle of the season. We were still winning, but I wasn't performing quite as I want, as well as I wanted to. Now, here's the part of the story that, that's kind of a little vulnerable for me. So during this time, there was a game where we got really far ahead. I, I was starting again. Everything was great. We were winning. I got really far ahead. And then they put up, put in the backups. This is super normal in football. When you get far ahead, you give the younger guys experience because that's who's going to carry the team on in a couple of years. So it's just as important that they get experience. So we got super far ahead. The coaches put the second string in. The second string quarterback went in and did actually very well. He actually ended up winning player of the game. Now, that was super hard for me. As the starting quarterback, seeing the second string quarterback win player of the game, you're probably like, okay, you should be happy. And obviously right now I... Looking back, I've become really good friends with that second string quarterback, and he, he's someone that I, I really admire. However, in the moment, I was really frustrated that me as the starting senior quarterback didn't win the player of the game due to a freshman second string quarterback. Um, and I don't want to make it seem like that award, like I, I wasn't petty about it or anything, but like internally, like I was very competitive. I'm like, dang, like how can I be starting? And, and I got just beat by the, like statistically by the second string quarterback. So after a couple of days of internalize, internalizing this, I went ahead and shared this this feeling of, of embarrassment with one of the uh, coach that I was super close with. And he told me that I need to start writing my goals down that I wanted to accomplish that following game. So for example, if it was a Monday, I needed to write all my goals out for what I wanted to accomplish Friday night. So we started doing that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday through Thursday, I would write down my goals about what I wanted to accomplish. Like this many touchdowns, no interceptions, this many rushing yards, this many rushing touchdowns, whatever it may be. And during Friday, my coach said, you need to take a Sharpie and write those same goals on your arm on Friday nights. And you're going to play with Sharpie on your arm to, to show like yourself that you have goals that you need to hit and you can remember them. And then during the game, when you hit those goals, you're going to come over to the sideline and we're going to mark them off on like a checkbox on your arm. And I had, it was a very unconventional. I've never seen this before, but I started doing that. My stats improved significantly after that. Just because I had the vision every day, like I need to accomplish this, I need to accomplish this. And in the game, every time I looked down at my arm, boom, there are my goals. Long story short, senior season, we ended up winning the state championship. I was starting, and the 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 full circle part of this is I ended up winning player of the game, the very award that had like plagued me uh, that I lost to the second string qu quarterback that one game. Uh, I won the, I got the award of player of the game, the state championship, which was just kind of a full circle moment for me. As you can see here on the picture, it's not in Sharpie. I think it was in pen. I don't know. I didn't have a Sharpie or whatever, but you can see, I don't know why I wrote a hundred percent completion rate. That's kind of unrealistic. I just think I was so confident we were going to win. I just thought we would have no errors, which we ended up having errors, but we ended up winning. Um, I wanted to score a touchdown on every drive. We didn't do that one. So I think that's why it's like half checked. Um, but I had a rushing touchdown, and the most important part of this game was I just wanted to win. I didn't care how we did it. I just wanted to win. Um, and that crown that I have on my lower part of my arm is just I, we. The, this, the motto for our senior season was king mentality. And I'll also put a picture of our state championship ring here because that was just a really important part and a really important pillar of me being the person, uh, the micro principles that I learned along the way, like manifesting your goals, having visualization of those goals. And I did the same thing with YouTube. I had a paper above my desk that I, I wanted a thousand subscribers by December 31st, 2021. And we were in November and I was starting to get a little worried. But then in November, I finally hit the thousand sub subscribers. December I hit 3000 subscribers. And that was the power of manifestation and visualization of goals for me is super important. And some people don't share this, but I just figured I'd share what's worked for me. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this because this is something that uh, I didn't want to like, it's not the most fun sharing that you're, that you feel embarrassed and things like that. But I do think that the principle of manifest manifesting goals is really important. 
Um, if you guys haven't yet, consider checking out that link down below for joining the executive club because that's where I put all of these stories every day. I write an email to all of y'all completely for free. Um, I just love sharing it. I just want to practice sharing as much value as I can for all of you. So if you haven't yet, consider checking out that executive club link down below. You just put your email in 30 seconds. Boom, you'll get an email the next morning. Um, or whatever I send the emails, but I send them every day. I haven't missed today yet, every weekday. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And like always, consider subscribing and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.